Back at it again, boys. Rolling back to that station. Getting close to... Uh, I'm 100%ing it by completing all the levels and whatnot. And I think that's what we're going to continue to do today. So welcome back to Gas Station Simulator's new DLC, the Tidal Wave DLC. Fun, high-flying, uh, high, high wave and fun. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> there's a volcano, there's tidal waves, and it's lots of fun. We've been playing this one on and off. And because it actually has kind of an end to it in a way... Uh, I think we're going to continue to play this one and uh, have some good time. So uh, we actually do have, um, well, because of the DLC, we do have, uh, you know, a gas station that um, has started from scratch and then will eventually hit a certain level to where we can't really expand it anymore. But, uh, yeah, like, for example, yeah, car wash level four. Let's take a look at the... Um, at the uh, listing for how far we can go. So if we play like, um, you know, other games like Supermarket Simulator and whatnot, we can essentially play that endlessly. And the same goes for this game too. However, there is a chance to finish up everything by getting to level 9. That's basically 100% there. At least in terms of all these upgrades down here. And then there's a DLC that's playable within the... D there's a DLC within the DLC called Party Time. So we could try to work on this too. But essentially all these upgrades require money. So what I'd like to do is pretty much unlock everything level wise all the way up to level nine these major up updates at the top and then try to unlock uh, unlock everything at the bottom and then uh you know redesign the gas station so what we need to do to unlock these levels is basically do the goals that are on the right side of the screen and then uh we can basically spend money on this so we've got the cash cash is no problem we pretty much make like uh i don't know ten thousand bucks within like a day or something like that so we're just going to keep on keeping on now today so welcome back good to see you all here exclamation point join in the chat uh one's in the chat if you're uh watching and enjoying uh make sure you drop off your twitch prime sub if you got one don't let jeff keep your money and uh you know support other creators if you'd like to and uh good to see you all here so welcome good to have everybody here Good to see you all, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I think we actually have a party coming in. Oh, let's check that real quick. Uh, or, or just left, one of the two. It's either coming or going. Ah, about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes, a new party will be coming in. That helps to calm down the volcano, so we don't have to worry about the volcano too much. Let's see if we can put everything in. Okay, cool. Everything's ready for the next party. And that party also makes some, uh, makes us some good money, too. So... All right, let's go to boat refueling and then swing by the car wash. There's also new music in this DLC. I've enjoyed the new DLC uh, because it basically is like the original game, but kind of removes a lot of the whole... <clears throat> the first game's kind of got a little bit more narrative going on to kind of teach you how to play, and there's kind of some extra stuff you got to do. Uh, like, for example, the... Oh, there's like the RC racing car, and there's also that uh, DLC for that too for the airstrip, but... This is nice. It's like a fresh start, but in a game we're completely familiar with, so it's good. Yeah, and chat spamming all those uh, party buses, party boats, too, because that's another new thing here is that instead of a party bus coming in, it's now a boat, and it's uh, it's pretty cool, actually, to see. So, Welcome back to you all. Good to see all the ones in the chat. Good to see everyone locked in, everyone subscribing, everyone having a good time. So we're one of our favorite games of all time on this channel. Like, this is one I feel like we could... Um, Pretty much at any time, we could just go back to, like, the original, like, delete all of our progress, go back to the original game and start from scratch and have a good time. It says a lot about a game when you can do that, where you don't want to keep any of your progress. You just want to start fresh because it's, it's fun to do. So it's good times. All right, we got a full trash can. And where is that? Probably over there, right? All right, oh, we got another boat that wants refueling. Not to mention we got this big old cannon. All right, we got to refuel uh, about 100 boats. So we're at 60, we're about to be at 69. Nice. That'll, do. That'll be pretty good. Oh, don't forget, we have our bear emote, too, for the uh, <coughs> tropical setting. We got our trop tropic, tropic bear. Tropics bear, whatever you want to call it. The Hawaiian shirt bear is now on our YouTube chat, so check that out. Yeah, I saw that uh, Planet Crafter is coming uh, with 1.0 and uh, multiplayer and stuff like that, so we'll be covering Planet Crafter. They kind of told me about it earlier. I knew, I saw that trailer like a month ago, and they were like, well, you can't say anything. We got a secret coming, so I, uh, I heard all about it. I'm very excited for it. Very nice. Bum, bum, bum.
All right, let's go. Every time I see this car, it just makes me think of uh, contraband police. Every time we play, there you go. There's your bear. There's your bear. Uh, the car wash won't be automatic until like the final upgrade. I think that's like the la the final last final upgrade for the car. Mama. Yeah, you could. Uh, I don't think you could rotate the cap of the. Uh, the spray hose in the car wash, but you can change between two different spray types. There's like the wide nose and the, uh, what do you call it? Like, I don't know, the attack hose. Alright, anything else to sweep, sweep? Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. And we'll grab that. Alright, good. I think when we upgrade again, too, we get to hire another employee. Actually, I think we can hire two more. Which would be really good. Right, let's go check on those boats. Still need to get boats to 100. We need to get surfing equipment up to 125. We're very close on that one. And car wash needs about 25 more. Well, about... Wow, we got 11,000 bucks? Man, how do we make so much money now? We're making ridiculous amounts of money, and I I haven't even, like, fully set up our gas station. Like, our gas, uh, inside our gas station, it's kind of a mess a little bit, honestly. Hi, Elon. <laughs> look at this freaking goober giving me that look. Guy's a complete goober. Giving me that look like that. And of course, chat will be happy. The bears are fully restocked. Enjoy. Oh my god, we're about to make even more money. Okay, I still need to buy some more car cleaning stuff, but that's fine. Let's go deal with the car wash again. You thought there was a rotate option? I don't uh, see one. Oh, you're right. You, oh, you just got to right, right click. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Thanks, dude. I didn't even look for it. I was using the scroll wheel. Good job. This kind of makes me want to play uh, Power Wash Simulator again. It'd be cool to do a full, uh, like a complete restart of Power Wash Simulator. And just start from day one. Very satisfying game. But I would like to play that with like uh, two player the whole time. Thank you, brother. I also want to do, like, another playthrough of Subnautica. I wish I could, like, you know, men in black myself and forget the, uh, you know, forget, the like, what happens in the game. I played it for the first time, like, two years ago, including the DLC, and... Subnautica's so fun. So nice to be able to build. Welcome back, Andy. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Big O stream, and welcome back to the gas station. We're gonna, we're trying to get to that hundred tonight. We're gonna, I don't think we'll be able to uh, completely like, you know, get the gas station fully upgraded, but we're, we're gonna get closer. In fact, we only need to sell one more surfing equipment thingy. Good. We need to fuel about mm, twenty-five more boats ish, and about twenty-five more cars. That means the boats will probably be done first. I'm just going to wait until some more boats come in. Actually, let's check and see our fuel count. Let's go to fuel delivery. Oh, we buy about 700 liters. That's good. And then let's buy... 
More tires. Oh! It's time! You know what that means, chatty chatters. I'm gonna buy like 60 tires. Oh, I, apparently I already had a pending order. Oh. We'll get that order too. It's time! The party boat has pulled up. Welcome to all the new members. Exclamation point gift in the YouTube chat or click that join button. Get on that party bus, party bus, party bus. Oh boy. What is this? Wow. Dad man with the five bomb for the chatty chatters getting off the bus. Thanks, bro. Oh, I should have remembered to order items first and then fuel. I'll come back. All right, let's fuel those boats up. Parkour. Alright, we're going to wait for that to be done refueling, and then we're going to stock the shells, and we're going to go stock the um, the parts in the uh, auto body place. And that should be muy bueno. I know, party boat's here. I know. I know. I'm excited. You're scared of turning 31 this year? Oh, the 30s are fine. It's all good. The 30s are where you start to figure some things out. I don't know what things you'll figure out, but I think, honestly, there are... A lot of things I think in life are you get old enough to where you get fed up of not knowing something or not doing something or not caring about something and then you change your mindset on it and then it finally it gets it gets done or you get better at it or you make improvements towards it. More boats. Party boat. Bum, 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 Wonder if we'll see a shark attack shortly. Oh, we got a full trash can, and we got to go do the uh, car wash. Hey, it's me. What's up, me? Still on that birthday celebration. There we go. The steel drums really make the uh, the vibe come together. Works well. are so easy to clean now.
So after this checklist on the right side gets filled, we're on to the final level. Like we're on, we're at the last, like the last stage of the gas station. And I think because we'll have so much money and stuff that we should shut the gas station down and do a final remodel, almost as if we're like doing the grand opening. Like at this point, we've just been basically building the gas station up to be what we want to be, like the, like how we want it to be. Like. We're open, that was just an opening, but we gotta have our grand opening. Like the big, the big old crazy billion dollar opening. We're gonna charge for tickets. Oh, I gotta go put those tires in the garage. No goof troops? Nah. Well, so some things came up and uh, some people were busy with some last minute stuff, so it's all good. I, I definitely wanted to play with my friends, but some uh, some things uh, happened. Schedule-wise, so it's okay. It's all good. I just had so much fun yesterday playing Played Up with them that I was like, we gotta play something else today, but everybody's just been busy, you know? It happens. Didn't I order 60 tires? I like ordered tires so that we never had to order tires again. I thought. Uh, actually it's under parts. Okay. I'm gonna try to bring us up to the maximum. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up the warehouse to like 2,200 with tires, and then I'm gonna put all of them in the um, in the where in the uh, shop so that they don't take up space there. If you know, do you know what I mean? How much is it gonna cost us? Five thousand. Okay. I never want to have to buy tires again. You know, this is enough. That's enough tires. Hopefully we never need tires again. I bought a, a ton. Too many. In an irresponsible amount of tires. I'm tired of buying tires, yeah. Too tired. But that would be a bike, what, right? It's like, no, I'm too tired. What are you, a bike? T. That'll do. Uh, that party should be coming in shortly. I think we probably have about maybe five minutes left on that big party. Wow, no way. Only three boxes for the tire. car coming in the car wash. Wait, it says 234 tires. 224, okay. 197. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we bought so many. There's a lot of storage for them.
All right, so we won't need to worry about tires for a long time. And we bought them at a very cheap price. We bought them in the green level, so we just did ourselves a big favor. All right, back to boat refuel. I think we completed all of our other objectives by having uh, everybody working as an you know the employees on duty basically. Mr. Volcano's an angry boy. Oh, he's fine. 30, 38%. When we um, throw this party, it'll be okay. Now, there's no aliens in this DLC, but there is a tidal wave that will... Well, I mean... There might be aliens, but it's not like when you reset. Oh, good. Two minutes and four seconds left. Then I think we'll upgrade our thing. I'm going to make sure these are full, too. Your birthday's tomorrow? Oh, happy birthday. I had my birthday on Saturday. It was great. I still feel like it's my birthday. It's nice. Like, people still coming by saying happy birthday. And I don't know. I just, I just feel like it, every day has been my birthday lately. It's cool. Not doing anything special. Well, actually, I did, but, you know. Today, I'm probably just going to have pasta. You know, be like, oh, dude, today's a good day. All right, we must have a car at the car wash. Indeed, we do. That's a nice truck right there, sir. Ma'am. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, evening? Evening, chat. Good evening. Evening. Okay, that party should be rolling in here shortly. Eighty-one out of hundred on boats. Good. I can hear the party starting. Sweet. All right, that's going to get us some money. And we'll make the volcano chill out again. Will I do an unboxing of uh, birthday presents? Oh, yes. Yes, I will. I, uh... I was actually going to wait <coughs> to the end of the week to go to the, um, check the P.O. box. So we might do it on Sunday. Give everybody an extra week who sent things out. I'm sh I wouldn't be surprised if I start getting things like late April and stuff. I, I don't even care if it, if I get it six months later. It's very nice that people even send... Some, some of you folks have just sent postcards that are just like, Hey, thanks for all you do. Love the channel. Uh, thanks for like hanging out in the chat or whatever. And it's like, it's really cool. 
People are very kind that way. L literally just postcards. It's like, it means so much. Nice to read. Alright, that party's gonna be over soon. What else should we buy? Maybe car stuff again? Products. Yeah, what is it? Car. Car care. Oh, we're going to be a little over capacity. There we go. Oh, and there it is. The party's over. We've made the volcano very happy about all the way back down to zero yo colin thank you very much for the one gifted membership for the chatty chatters thank you very much for the gift bomb appreciate it orbital strike received brother democracy man that's what we should have played tonight with everybody was hell divers but i didn't think about it also lumberjack was busy and bradford's gone more democracy everybody All right. Well, we'll deal with this first. And then we'll head over to the uh, boat refuel and then do car washes again. We're at 83 out of 100 there. 28 out of 50. Okay. Yo! Fly Medic, thank you very much for the one month as a bear cub. Thanks for the gifted. Yeah. Thank you to all you guys dropping gift bombs. Cool to see. Wow, there's a lot in these boxes. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we gotta go do... Oh, and... Yep. Apollo... With the 99 cent burger. Thank you, dude, for the burger. Man, that is one thing I miss about the winter, though, is uh, something about just the um, being outside, grilling. You, know, you bring all your food outside to make it uh, like a burger and some other stuff, and you do all that outside. And then you have your burger outside. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. But in the winter, you get to make kind of like stews and stuff like that. And I've, I've really enjoyed some really wonderful stews I've had. And like a really good chicken noodle soup from like um, the Czech Republic and Poland that I got to... I got to figure out how I'm going to make one of my own. Bum, bum. And what are we at? Cars washed 30. Boats at 85. Alright, let's get the stuff on the shelf. Nice. So what we could do now is to get a little pressure off the warehouse, we could add some more shelves inside the gas station. But things are rolling. I don't, I don't feel like shutting things down just to do that yet. I think everything might be a little too much. 
Like if I buy two shell, like two sh two of every shelf is what I want to buy, and I feel like that's too much. But we don't have any more products out there anyway. Oh, well, that party's over. Let's see what the new party wants. New party starts in about 40 minutes. New party wants Pringles, tinfoil hats, and some whiskey. Uh, sounds like a hell of a party. K Stan, thank you very much for your five memberships. Welcome aboard, dude. Good to see you. I think our space might be taken. Tinfoil hats. Damn it. Didn't mean to hit that button. Alright. Well, we'll get some more shelf space down so I can get more stuff out of the warehouse. So let's do this. Let's do another thing for drinks. Let's buy another thing for drinks. Another thing for snacks. Great. And... Toys and teddy bears. Alright. Should be able to move this. I think I'll put this in the corner. Good. Okay, let's put one down for snacks. Getting more stuff out of the old inventory. I'll organize it and make it look nice later. More people on the party boat now? Yes, indeed. Oh, hold on. K-Stan with the five gifted memberships for chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, the party boat's loading up again. Loading up. Alright, let's go get some other work done now. Oh, that boat's here. Damn, I forgot to... Gotta order the right amount of tinfoil hats. Sound like a crazy person screaming that. What's up, colonists? Alright, let's try that again. Tinfoil hats. And buy like 20. Okay, that looks good. Let's buy some surfing equipment. Uh oh. Hold on, sharks on the way. I have to wait till that other delivery is gone. Uh, there we go. 
Chad, I just had a sudden urge to also finish up. When we finish this up, we, we got to do some finish up projects. You know what I mean? I got to pick a day and we got to be like, all right, we're going to start finishing Dave the Diver. But like, you know, Dave's still being developed. Also, uh, we got to do the same with um, Dredge. Like, I got to go find every one of those damn fish. I think we... We, we may have actually already done it. I don't remember. I got that feeling, though. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up, Nerdapalooza? Hi, everybody. Hello, chat. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, D Dave the Dredger. That's right. Those were my favorite games of last year. I, I also feel like wanting to do that with the Pacific Drive. Like, uh, jumping back into that one and going and finding more. I, I bet you Pacific Drive will have a DLC, and it'll probably have Francis as the um, quest giver or something like that. Pacific Drive is such a wildly, infinitely interesting world that I really feel like it would be criminal if they didn't make a sequel or a more content for it, or lore or something. It would be an outstanding Netflix series. It would be something like Stranger Things and Black Mirror. It would be a, just an amazing, like, miniseries. Wow, look at that. We're almost up to $10,000 again. All right, we're going to fuel up the two boats. Stranger Mirror. That's right. Yo, thanks for all the follows, too, on Twitch. Thanks, Atmos. Uh, guys, we are very close to uh, 10,000 followers. I should, I should actually make a little YouTube post and be like, hey, guys, thanks for the support. We're like... We're literally less than 250 followers away from 20,000 on Twitch, which is cool. Like, we're close. Whenever we get real close to some milestones, then I start mentioning them. Because it's like, I usually don't notice until we're right about at the uh, edge of a, of a big goal. And then it's like, oh, dude, let's hit it. Let's go. Okay, good. Um, yep. Wow, I just hit that woman in the face with a bag of trash. Crazy. Car wash. 20 more cars to go. You know what we could do, chat? We could shut down the, um... We could shut down, like, the, um... What is it? The, the repair garage? Or I think they call it the workshop. We could shut that down. And then... Send over the employees who work there over to work at the car wash day and night. And then I could just take care of the boats. We'll lose a little bit of money, but that's okay. Let's take a look at how many um, tires have been used. What? No way. Bro, we bought over 200 tires and they were... Like, one shelf was wiped out. What? No way. Dude, I bought like 200 tires. They wiped out one... Almost, almost two whole shelves were wiped out. No way. How? That's incredible, dude. Each of those shelves holds like, in total, like 20 tires, I think. Every time a car comes in for repair, too, by the way, the tires, it's always got like two complete flats. So every car that rolls, and then we got two uh, bays in there for cars to park. So it's like, we're probably repairing like, yeah, about 20 tires a day. Okay, I want to put some more stuff down. What else we got for shelves? We got the toy stand and the other thing. Let's put this here. I'm going to make it real messy. You can stay mad at me. It's fine. I'm going to organize it later.
make it look all nice. Just want to get stuff out of the inventory. Here, lady, have some trash. That was a free sample, too. Let's check fuel. Eh, we could about halfway. Is there anything else I want first, though? Maybe we'll just buy some of these. Should be enough for now, I think. Not too much. Alright, we'll just go with that. And then boat refuel is times two. Oh, and uh, regular fuel. Delivery fuel supply order. Good. Boom, boom. This dude is retiring his retired tires and not getting tired of it. Wow. Did I refill the teddy bears? Uh, I think so. We have... Yeah, the, all the toys, I think, are out on the shelves. we got to constantly buy more stuff. Luckily, when we're, when we're done with this, we get to upgrade the warehouse again, and then stuff will just be less of a problem. We're, we're so close to being like done with this DLC, it's awesome. Of course, once we're done, we can continuously play, so it's not like there's going to be... Like, we can't play ever again. Alright, so next <coughs> is car wash. Car wash... I guess we could do this. Alright, cool. The Griswolds are here. Got to be some uh, bags for this, too. There we go. We. All right. Um. Good, good. Well, let's go check on the party. All 
Okay, everything's green. We could upgrade the party now. And that would also make the volcano happy. Let's take a look. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's see, upgrades, party time. Tier 4. Uh, one new party time vending machine, and we also get party lights. Hmm. Volcano. Happy. Okay, and then... Alright, so we're fully upgraded on the top tier. And now we can start getting ice cream. If we're going to do ice cream, I think we should wait until we get to the next level so we can hire at least one more person to work the machine. Ice cream's good, but... Uh, like, having people in the body shop is probably better. There's way more money in that. Yeah, the volcano was smoking a cigar. <laughs> That's why he was so happy, I guess. He's just, he just chilling. Alright, let's go pump some fuel. Did I throw Dennis into the volcano? That Yeah, that's why he's angry. That should be the lore. That damn kid that comes around and vandalizes. Oh, he's so annoying in the uh, first game, too, because, like, you'll, you'll make your gas station all pretty, and, like, you'll decorate it, paint it, and then that kid comes around, and you're like, ah. You want to set up a minefield. Take him out. Okay, so 13, 1, 2, 3, 55. More boats on the way. 27. Gas station, more like SAS station. Mm hmm, slay. Where's the party ship? I don't know. We got our boat. And I don't even. Uh, for the people who come to the uh, party thing, I feel like there should be a bus that pulls up. They kind of just appear out of nowhere. You know, like when they go and party over there on that party pad. They just kind of like, hey, we're here for the party, and it's like, uh, there's no, no boat, no bus. Oh, I should have threw that in the water. It's fine. Another boat. Oh 
I think the car wash is so behind, too, because one, only one car comes at a time, and two, when it does arrive, it takes us a little while to, like, run over there. Come on, give me that. That'll do. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think the final upgrade for the car wash is to make it automatic. This dev should be making like a diner DLC and a hotel or motel DLC that's based on the location of the first gas station, but I don't know. I think it's on Steam and they were supposed to do it. They were supposed to. Okay, three more three more boats. Three more boats. Oh, and that is that a car wash car? It is. Yeah, let's wash this convertible. Bum 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 there we go. Wow, JD with the 50. Traveling for a week conference and love getting uh, back to the hotel room uh, with a good cocktail and see a Raptor playing gas station simulator. Great way to end the night. Well, thank you very much, dude, for the big O50. Wow, Dino Nugs in the chat. Hashtag JD in the chat. Show them some love, everybody. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. It's very nice. What happens when the volcano erupts? Do you die? A little inside, yeah. You do die a little inside. Now, what happens is like it, it's kind of like when the dust storm happens in the uh, in the base game. Well, what will happen is giant volcanic rocks. Well, first of all, everyone will run, so you'll lose all the customers and stuff. And then giant volcanic rocks will come down and like block the pathways and stuff around the gas station. So you got to clear that so cars can make it through. And then I think it damages the gas station for a while, and the gas station will look damaged, and then magically repairs. Something like that. Bada bum, bada bum, bum, bum. Okay, one more boat to fuel. And I'll probably shut that down so I can focus on the cars and then maybe get, uh, do a little uh, decoration at the gas station. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know? Moving and shaking. You know? Shaking, not stirred. You know? JD dropping a 10 gift bomb for the chat. 10, an orbital strike. 10 more members for the party bus. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. Chat, this year, when I get some more time, I've been on vacation and traveling a bit, but one of the things I want to do is get some cool animations on the screen for whenever we get, uh, you know, super chats and member bombs and stuff like that, because you guys support a hell of a lot. And we got our memes in our community for that, you know, the member bus and or the party bus or whatever. Or the, or the boat, I should say. So we got to do more. Yeah, the orbital strike one. Yeah, we got we to gotta do some stuff like that. I just got to find somebody who could do animations in a way that would look really cool. Ones that we would all like. Wow, 
Super. All right, I think we got our last boat to refuel. I'm gonna shut that down so I can keep our gas station nice, clean. Billy Nelson should return. Uh, he's trying to. Uh, the Nelsons and stuff have cooled off. The, the back seating and the rudeness still happens, but it's uh, about um, you know a tenth of what it used to be. I think it was just kind of COVID and everybody being stuck inside and under additional stress that it, everyone, especially younger people, were just kind of lashing out at anybody and everything they could. Okay. So let's shut down the pure fuel dispensers. And I'll take care of the car wash and then cleaning the uh, gas station now. And then making it organized. Oh, that was your fish? Oh, I'll have to return it. Yep. I'll mail it to you. At the end of the day, do the uh, jingles become an earworm for this? Nah, not really, actually. Not for me, anyway. Have I ever traveled to Atlanta? No. I don't even think I've been to the Atlanta airport. Nope. Hmm. Bananas. Death by a banana. Okay, now we're starting to burn through stock. That's nice. Wow, we're almost up to $20,000. Jeez. Uh, I thought you said you completed the game and uh, taking a break from the game for a while. Um, no, not this game. That's what we're going to try to do, though. But <clears throat> I think completing it means that we at least get down kind of the main quest line of unlocking all the upgrades. And then maybe a little decoration. There is an airport DLC for this game, but I think it's on the other, only on the other map. And... Um, and we've seen that already, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we need 13 more cars for the car wash. Well, wait a minute. Oh, no. Let's check tires again. See how many tires we've burned through. Wow. Bro, all of them. Bro, there's one tire left. How? Well, that explains why we made $18,000.
That's ridiculous. Wow. That, wow. What's our warehouse space? Mm. Wow. I'm gonna wait until we go through some more stock. We won't make as much money because they want things like coolant and batteries and whatnot, and I'm not willing to buy it at the moment, but I just want to make sure everything else burns out. at the car wash. We're approaching 40 now. And that other party should be soon... Uh, ready too. After this chat, we can start playing some other games like Beach Club Simulator. Hell, I want to go back to like um, Bartender Hustle and stuff. Those are fun. Nine minutes. Just feel in the mood. Yeah, the car wash is satisfying. It's very much like a mini game of. Uh, uh, power, power wash simulator, yeah. What level uh, gas station did the party area come with? Uh, I think when you get to level... Um, I think level 2 or 3. It's its own DLC, so if you don't have it, it's because you don't have the party time DLC. I don't think it's available until right away, like right away. I don't know. Yeah, there's like two supermarket games, like Supermarket Simulator and My Supermarket. I haven't played the other one, though. Ugh, all this dust. Why is my cashier low health? Well, she didn't get shot or anything. That... This is basically their uh, energy levels at, at each of their stations. When they reach uh, zero, they go on a break, and then the other person comes up, pretty much. Wow, we got over 20,000 bucks. How are we doing on fuel? Gotta check fuel again. Okay. Only went through about 500 liters.
Wow. $21,000. That's all got to be coming from the workshop. So much money we're making from that. And buy like another. What are we at? Oh. Let's buy like another one fifty. I'll buy a bunch of these. What I should do now is buy up all this stuff and then put it in the garage. In the storage areas. And fill up all the storage that's like on the side of the wall. What's up, RPG? Good to see you, dude. By a sixty in stock twenty eight, okay. Ten's fine. Damn it. Didn't mean to hit that button, but we don't have any batteries. It's alright, we'll have to do a few things on that one. Car wash. Okay, done. 40 out of 50. Bom, bom, bom. Oh. Uh oh. Let's check on the bathroom and the shower. at the warehouse gate has arrived. Yeah, I think the uh, for their employee stamina and stuff, I think you might be able to pay them a little extra to get that back up quicker or something. And I also think perhaps there's something to do with like their veterancy at each of the different job types. They're able to either work longer or do more. So something about doing more somehow. Good. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, 
All right. Oh, car wash car again. Good. Man, those vans are pretty easy to clean. Beep. Did I ever figure out how to clean the showers? Yeah, there was just a glitch with them, I think. The earlier levels didn't produce dirt or garbage I could clean up, but then when I upgraded them, it looked like it fixed itself. And I'm imagining that the developers probably fixed that before release. Check the garage again. again. All right, let's check pressure. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, we got to do a couple more. And we're almost there. We got, uh, what, 30? Oh. oh, the party's over. Volcano's chilled out. Couple more cars to do. Party is over. All right, so I'm going to go check and see what it takes to have another party. That does a really great job of keeping the volcano happy so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we just need to buy a bunch of old bow hats. Uh, party boat shows up randomly. So who knows where the party will be. Or when.
Hmm. What upgrades do we have left? Uh, we gotta get the gas station to the next level. And then we'll, I guess we'll take a look at it. We'll have to break it on down. Do the car wash. Wow, Our friends going to play flashing lights. Uh, maybe we'll see. We played that one before on the channel. You owe me money, brother. Let's go order some hats. Let's do a quick single order. Is this in-game music? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I got overbeared today. I know. And hey, that game was cool, though. I, I could tell that the uh, guys who worked on Bears in Space were definitely trying to make a game that was, like, high on life. Um, and they came really close. You could tell it didn't have the same budget, but the uh, gameplay and the, the guns and stuff were pretty fun and pretty solid. They, like, they weren't too bad. It was a game I'd like to play more of if I had time. Any notable cosplayers at PAX? Yeah, I actually want to put some pictures up, but uh, there, there were some great uh, Kratos from God of War. Uh, somebody did a Warhammer 40k, uh, like a Space space Marine uh, costume, which was really incredible. It's like Hollow Knight there. People dressed as Mario and Luigi. Um... Somebody was uh, Lady Dromesco or whatever it is from uh, Resident Evil 7. And like was walking around on 
stilts or something like that. Somehow I was able to walk around on those. Uh, and then there was like, I think there was a group of at least three, three groups of four uh, who were walking around with uh, lethal company outfits on. Like they were in the orange jumpsuits with like yellow um, oxygen tanks. Very smart. Very funny. I didn't even think about that. That was, that was great. They did a good job. Kratos is cool, but did anyone dress up as the boy? Uh oh. Hold that thought. Party bus is here. Party bus! Exclamation point join. If you want to become a member and party with the rest of the members? Exclamation point join us. Exclamation point gift. Oh wait, I want to go there. Actually, we no, I don't need to do that. I'm going to go pick up our delivery. Party boat, party bus. You too, sir. What's up, Gaming Ham? How are things? What is the atmosphere like at PAX? Um, it's very... It was very well organized. People were very uh, respectful, very clean. Uh, everyone, you know, tried to let everybody by and give each other space and distance for things. And if you bumped into somebody, everybody was very, like... Everybody was very kind, very nice. And um, everybody was running out of energy at the end of the day. Like, people were kind of like... Um, there's these designating sitting areas where you can kind of like sit, not in a chair, but like you can kind of sit like on the floor and, or stand and participate in like these, um, I don't know, like people will play DDR and like invite people to dance with, I don't know, there's, there's like something for everybody there. And uh, not everything was for me and the boys, but we like, we, we dropped in and like took a look at what all these things were, like... Um, Endless, endless rooms of people playing tabletop games and board games everywhere. Like, just crazy amount of seating and people playing, like, board games that they bought there, board games that they brought there, uh, to play with other people. It was crazy. But, uh, you know, I was, I was afraid that it would be too small or too like uninteresting and unorganized and it was none of those things Th those were my concerns i was like ah, is this gonna be how big is this thing gonna be and it was a it was a great so it makes me want to do more in the future so if i get invited out from any dev or publisher i'm going i'm going and we're gonna try to bring red with us next time and um maybe we'll try to get pinto to come out we'll tell bradford and If we can get passes and things, that is. Well, otherwise, I'll, I guess, the boys will have to try to get their own passes, but at least we'll we'll hang out together, and that'll make it more worth it. It all depends, you know. Would I go again? Absolutely, yes. 
Yeah. In fact, I would like to go earlier and try... I, I was more interested in just kind of chatting with people that I uh, chat with often. Whenever I'm... Um, oftentimes when I'm not streaming or when I'm like... When you guys see me look down and I'm on my phone and stuff like that, I'm, I'm usually getting an email from like, you know, Manor Lords or something. Like something important or somebody will email me. And typically, the way it'll work is that uh, there'll be a developer or somebody making a game... And then they'll have a publisher who can help to bankroll that or to help market that. There's many reasons to have a publisher. Some people self-publish, which is a good thing in many ways. But but w usually what the publisher will do is they'll reach out to third-party marketing companies to then reach out to us streamers and stuff. So, like, for example, Planet Crafter. You guys were asking me earlier, did I know Planet Crafter was getting, like, a big update? And I did because Planet Crafter hired people to do PR for them. And those PR people reached out to me and showed me the trailer in advance. And they're like, hey, here's a, here's the trailer. Like, you can't show it and you can't mention it or whatever. But would you be interested in, like, covering it when it comes out? But those emails are sent by, like, you know, a particular person or people. And those people go to that event. And it's really nice to see, like, first of all, at the very top developers. Like, people making the games. People in those trenches and fighting those battles of, like you know, fixing bugs and trying to make something creative and cool, especially, especially if it's an indie dev. I love that. Then that means that means there's more competition for the big boys. Activision, Blizzard, you know, Microsoft. Those guys have to step it up. Or welcome those people to their platforms. But anyway, then you got your, you know, your publishers, which are cool, because there's great publishers out there like Hooded Horse. We're going to publish Manor Lords and also Falling Frontier. And uh, I think they've also published uh, another game we played recently called Against the Storm. And they just do really cool, like, marketing and PR. And they just they just want to make good games. And they want good people to play good games and have a good time doing it. And that's uh, the most important thing. So, And it's nice to be able to go to these places and shake a hand. And be like, oh, dude, you know, like, thanks for telling me about that game. Like, that, that's, like, become one of my favorite games, you know? Like, for example, what's about to happen with um, me going back to Poland. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, pretty big, pretty big stuff going on there. Pretty big. And it all happens because you guys watch the videos and... Uh, me and all the boys wouldn't be where we are unless you watched my channel and their channel too. And that's kind of my thing on my channel is whenever I'm with them, is it's always to, in a way, kind of promote them and not necessarily their channel, but to help show who they are to you. Their channels will be just fine, but it's really cool to be able to show their personalities to you guys as well. You know, Red and Pinto and Alex are very different people, but... We all get along great. Unfortunately, one of them is French, but I won't tell you which one. But, you know, we, we all can't be perfect. When am I going to Poland? Uh, towards the end of May. Which will be after my Japan trip, which is great. So I think literally what will happen is me, Pinto, me, Elmox, and Uthris have wanted to go back to Japan with Pinto, if he can, since 2018. And I've gone back to Japan in 2019, and I haven't been able to since COVID, where Japan opened up their borders again last spring, like in, I think, May or April or May of last year. But I was just too busy by then. I didn't know they were going to do that, and so I couldn't really plan for it. And if all that hadn't happened, me and the boys probably would have gone back three, four times since then. So we have to go. It's kind of like a promise to the boys. So what will likely happen is, as I was planning on coming home f directly from Tokyo. I think what's going to happen now is I'm actually going to fly from Tokyo to uh, Warsaw. And be working on a, a couple projects. A couple, couple things. Be working on a couple things.
It'll all be good. You guys will love it. Okay, let's go do another car wash. Hey, we're at 47 out of 50. Beautiful. Do I speak Japanese? Uh, a little bit. But you don't have to speak Japanese in Japan. There is enough signs in English to help you and everybody. And I think if you ask in English, um, they know enough words to kind of help you, you know? If you ask, like, train station or something, they'll, they'll point. They'll know. But I'm going to take pictures of uh, cool buildings and cars. You know what I really want to see? I, I would really like to go uh, stay up late one night and find a like Japanese car culture. Uh, I want to go find a bunch of people like in a parking lot with a bunch of cool like uh, Hondas and Toyotas and stuff from like the 90s and 2000s. And just like eat, eat, eat a snack and just walk around and look at all the sweet cars. Everybody just pimp, pimped out cars. It looks like, uh, yeah, like Tokyo Drift, yeah. Yeah, I want something like that. Just one day. Other than that, I, I love going to the museums for things like, um, tr you know, train museums and history museums. I've done a lot of the things you kind of have to do when you go to Japan. Like, Kyoto is a place you should absolutely go. Same with Tokyo. I've done that already. Uh, but I still want to go back. Even if I go to the same places again, it'd be nice to to see them again. I actually went to a uh, in 2019. I went from uh, Tokyo, uh, sorry, from uh, mainland Japan to Okinawa, and I went to a. Uh, a temple there, a, a, a palace or a, 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 like a, a castle. I forget the name of it, but it was one that was involved in uh, battles in World War II. And, uh, you know, so it had been bombed and then attacked and stuff like that. And, of course, that had happened many times before World War II as well, like fires and other things. Unfortunately, it burned down uh, about, like, two months after I came back. Um, but I don't know how extensive the fire damage was. It, it Actually, it's, it's on... Um, it's on the Japanese money. There's a... Uh, I forget what dollar amount in Japanese yen it is, but on the back of it, there's a there's a gate to this um, to this palace or this this castle. Um, there's like this this gate and then a long path that you walk up to go to where it is, and um, it's on the back of the money. So they're they're certainly rebuilding it. I'm sure. It could have been small or large. I, I honestly didn't want to go look because I would have been heart heartbroken because I was there. You know, it would have been too. Too scary. When beautiful things like that are maintained and are just used for, like, education and, like, uh, you know, built in the middle of the city, like, on the highest hill in the middle of the city where the palace and the temple itself hasn't changed much, but the city has. It's really cool to see. Yeah, it was, like, two or three months after I was there, yeah. Bum, bum. Am I going to be working on a YouTube simulator game? No, no. I'll be going to a uh, popular place in Poland to work on some cool things. That will be coming out soon. Yeah. I owe you too, brother. No equipment at the windsurfing rental. Let's order some more... Uh, let's order more stuff. Alright, let's do that. Okay. 
Raptor's now a voice actor. I mean, technically, I've done voice acting before. I mean, lit literally, I'm in Dave the Diver just saying, uh, yeah. Like, they, they clipped my voice of, of me saying that. So, I mean, technically, <laughs> yeah. I've done, I've done video game voice acting, one of the most popular games of 2023, I guess you could say. Like, if you put it in vague, vague terms like that, if you don't really explain it, it sounds really good. It's like, oh my god, are you Kratos? Are you the voice of Kratos? Yes. Actually, I don't think that came out in 2023, but you get the point. The more vague I, it is, the better. Raptor in Chinatown. Did, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to uh, a, 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 stud, a studio in Poland that's going to be making a Chinatown Detective Agency in 3D. Uh, got six times the budget of Elden Ring and GTA. All right, if we fuel one more car, we're done. Uh, not fuel, but uh, uh, gas station. If we, if we. Uh, Sorry, the car wash. The car wash of the gas station. One more. Just outside the gas station. One more car. We have 50 cars washed. Jeez. I'm hungry. I didn't have a snack today. Oh, Raptor, even though I'm dyslexic, I've been trying to write an audiobook when it gets published and get it published as an audiobook. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dys dyslexia shouldn't stop you from, you know, doing that stuff. I'm sure it makes it a little more challenging, but yeah. It's the same with games. Like, uh, I, games have got to be for everybody. Like, there's, we've got to have a way for everybody to play everything that they want. Within reason. I think there may be some exceptions because maybe perhaps a game may require... Um, like, I think we're working on it. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's some things we can't quite do yet. There's some exceptions because it's like we can't we can't do it yet. We're still working on some stuff, you know. Like, I don't know how somebody would be able to do um, Guitar Hero, for example, if they were uh, if they had a lot of visual impairment. Like, I I wonder, I would like to see how that would be done. But anyway, regardless of that. I think we've got some great tools to make sure everybody can have a good time. And if not, like, we got to get close. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. is like, it's not going to be one-to-one uh, -one comparable. But it's pretty amazing what they're able to do. Hell, when we saw that Last of Us thing, where we went and saw how they made Last of Us, they had, um, you know, people with uh, visual impair impairments, and I, somebody, I think, who was completely blind, relying on sounds and stuff in the game. And how they me they mentioned they didn't want it, it to be too easy. They even they wanted to be challenged by what the they were trying to make them play the game differently. And the guy was like, "That's too easy." <laughs> it's like, yeah, there'll be a your controller will vibrate if you're looking in the direction of an item. And it's like, no, dude, that's too easy. Make that toggleable. I don't, I don't want the game to be too easy. And it's like, damn, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it was really it was really cool to see how they work on accessibility like that. And I've seen controllers when I was at PAX. There was like a whole accessibility controller booth and stuff for people with um, deformities and injuries and stuff with their hands and whatnot. It's like, it's cool as hell that people are so damn um, dedicated or like want the, the desire, that's what I want to say, the desire to game is so strong that like people are just trying to find the coolest ways to do that. All right, awesome. We just finished the uh, car wash. So now we're on to the final challenge. We need to do 150 boats, 150 cars fueled, 200 customers in the shop, 200 scuba gear equipment, 200 surfing, 25 people need to use the toilet and the shower, uh, 75 cars need to be repaired, we need to wash 75 uh, cars as well. So that means we can upgrade the gas station again. So let's do it. So... Upgrades. Level 8. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. RGB table lamps. Interesting question. I don't know. Okay, so now the last thing we got to do is get to level 9. 
We'll get a handheld computer and an employee trailer. And what can we unlock for the gas station? Oh, there it is. Level 5. Automatic car wash. Look at that. We've unlocked the automatic car wash. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, now we got the auto car wash working. Sweet. Let's keep getting these upgrades. Uh, yep. Okay, so then warehouse, I want the warehouse size to be increased. Yeah, the volcano gets happy if you level up, if you get an upgrade, if you uh, host a party, and it goes really well. Gets pretty happy. All right, upgrades again to level. Uh, oh, wait, did I not? Oh, that's the workshop. Workshop. Uh, movables can be placed outside and on the roof. What? Ah, let's get the scuba upgrade. I'm gonna get them all. I'm gonna get them all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Workshop. Beautiful. And then... That's all the upgrades up to level 9. Holy hell, we played this a lot. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so in order to get to this next level, we have to complete all the tasks on the right side. So... Oh, let's see if we can hire another employee, too. Yep, good, good, good. Now we can hire another employee. We'll hire Jan. And let's have Jan... Mm. We'll have him fuel boats during the day. Night, we'll have him do it during the night. There we go. As people made the damn mess of my gas station. It's a guess. It's a damn mess. Goodbye money, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I mean, that's why I was saving it for all those big upgrades. So now the car wash is automatic, huh? Let's see if it works. Oh, there it goes. Alright. I hope I don't have to flip that switch every time. And then it'd be a semi automatic, right? Anyway, um... Okay, so now let's open up the boats again. Uh, management, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll have a guy doing the boats at night. I'll do them during the day.
No, we're good. Good. buy more stuff but all right we're, we're fine we're good we're locked in okay so now we got to fuel 150 boats I think the fueling is gonna take the longest but they arrive in Paris so that's good oh shark hold on hold everything shark attack I hope the car wash is working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's working, right? Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Looking good. Except for whatever that is. Maybe it'll get it on the pass back. Nope, still missed it. Whatever. Anyway, it's automatic now, so we don't have to worry about it. So now I think we'll manage the uh, inside of the gas station more often. So here's what I think we should do, chat. I think we should get about maybe 15, 20,000 bucks, and then we'll shut down the gas station. And we'll do a remodel to make it look nice for our grand opening, which will be basically when we finish the last of the upgrades. So stand by. stuff so what's our total warehouse capacity now that is 1600 no 2700 that's how much fuel we can have so 1600 liters of fuel and 2700 uh, inventory slots or whatever interesting where do you stay in Japan when you go hotels yeah yeah that thing totally missed a spot I know Okay, um, what are we ordering now? Maybe a pizza? No, not yet. Hmm. I don't know, uh... Well, alright. We'll just buy one of everything, I think, for now. And then we'll check the party, uh, the party zone again. Ice cream. already yep we did
There, we'll do that. Pizza? Yeah, I want some pizza. Who wants a fresh pot of pizza? I just made a fresh pot. Yo, T-Bone. Welcome back, dude. Is a raptor egg. Congrats, man. Green eyes in the chat. Another new member tonight. Let's go. What does chat got for... Uh, how many members piled off the bus? Let's take a look. 22! That's crazy, man. 22 people have become members tonight. And or, uh, or gifted memberships. Thanks, chat. Damn. It's awesome. Thank you. What's up, Blimbles? Good to see you in the chat. Hanging out over on Twitch as well. We're streaming on both Twitch and YouTube, by the way. So, uh... Feel welcome to continue the conversation on both. I, I, I'm still learning to mingle between both chats. But it is nice to have everybody here. So welcome to all of you. Exclamation point Twitch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a full delivery. It's not stopping. All right, there we go. Welcome to the T-Bone Zone. Wow. Now, I only need... To, I should only need to fuel after... I hope that guy didn't get stuck. Let's go check. I shouldn't have to do any fueling until after 20. I don't see the guy working there, though. Fuel boats. This is resting. Oh, yeah, he's on the night shift. I do it during the day. Other way around. Other way around. I'm supposed to do it. That's why. Damn goober. And, yeah, T-Bone, thank you very much, dude, for the 11 months as a member. So that means he takes over at, I think, from 20 to 6 or 7. Or maybe even 8. You. You're welcome, brother. So I think when we have enough money, I'll just shut down the garage. Did you see what the hell? Did you see what just happened there? I don't, I don't even know what happened there. Okay. Anyway, when we have enough money, I'll just shut down the garage and take those employees and have them do something else. The garage really is just for making money. It's like a pure, just pure profits. Oh, did the update change the door size or side? Oh, this door. Yeah. I think this door was over here, and it was like they were getting stuck here. They may have watched the stream. Sometimes they want... I, I wouldn't be surprised if they were watching every single one of these streams back. Hi! Uh, apparently, developers will do that. Let's put the... Uh, we'll pick a streamer and watch their, their game be played. Which is a good thing to do. Makes you feel good watching people play your game, and then if somebody finds a bug or... Something that they like or don't like, you can take notes. I've been known to help squash a bug or two. Hello, Arthemis. Hello.
Now we're getting low on warehouse space. Okay, boat fueling should be taken care of by our, our boy. I think we're going to get to like 20,000 bucks and then shut it down. At least the... Uh, actually, I think the gas station has to be closed for us to do me like massive renovations. I don't think we can just shut down the cash register portion. I think we have to shut everything down. Also... I would like to hire somebody to start selling ice cream, but we simply don't have enough employees to do it, I think. Unless we stop doing one of the services, which would probably have to be like... Boat refueling. Do I have any RGB light decor? No, um... But I mean, it, you know, uh, one of the cool things that people would have been doing for a while is you'd get like these panels that would be like LED panels that would be lit behind you. And then you could change them to any color or brightness or, or darkness. I've been seeing a lot more people kind of utilizing non-traditional lighting that way. Like instead of it being a, a light at, on the top of a room or a lamp, it's kind of these um, things that will almost light up a wall. Which is cool because it's not... Like sometimes a lamp is too dark, like you have to literally be sitting next to it. Like, you know, the lamp will be too small to really light a room, so you can't really see where you're going. But, like, a light on top of the ceiling is too bright because, you you know, you want to turn off the light to watch a movie or something like that. All right, everything looks like it's going really well. Wow, 12000 bucks. Let's check the, uh, the shop. Yes, touch nothing but the lamp. That's right. I like that. Uh, this is going to be a good year. We're g Specifically, probably for Crispy Bacon and like maybe five or six others of you, I'm gonna, we're going to start doing some more sound effects and stuff with Dirty Lumberjack Red and everyone else. And uh, Lumberjack, look, I'll, I'm going to be honest. I love my streams, and I love my community. I love you guys and chat with you all. Um... But I made some changes, and, like, we don't really use our stream deck much anymore. And, uh, like, there's a few other things that kind of had to, like, uh, we had to uh, scale back for the time being. But I'm, I'm ready this year to, like, start putting in some good sound effects and things that you guys can do. Like, Dirty, for example, over on his channel has that really cool, like, um, you can adjust the lights in his stream and stuff and, like, make it, uh, like, flash thunder and stuff like that. And I just got to take the time to do that. Yeah, it was a great drop, exactly, so. But yeah, we're going to be working on some real cool stuff. Big. It's going to be big. When I have the time. Hopefully after May. I think I hope that June and July will be a little quieter for gaming. The summers usually are, even August. There will still be some good games. But hopefully it will be a little quieter. Do I trust TV console ma uh, clamp mounts? Ooh, um, well, I would say if you're looking to do anything major where you're going to be buying something that's going to hold a TV, 
I definitely say watch watch some tech videos or review videos before. If you've decided on something, I would say go watch some reviews first. Just to just so you know. You should get an animatronic raptor, really, that you guys can control. Raptor, there's a new Call of Duty? What? No. No way. What is it, Call of Duty mobile game? They ain't coming up with another one, are they? Oh, wait. I think Dirty and Lumberjack said something about a new Warzone map or something, but... I don't know if that means a whole new war zone. I mean, uh, Call of Duty. I, I don't know. I kind of lost interest, honestly, completely in Call of Duty. Alright, party's over. Good job. Rebirth Island is back. Oh. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I did see that. And I didn't know what that meant. After uh, the the money shit... Look, I'm just ta I'm saying. War Zone 1... With uh, the whole open world, it felt like playing Payday and Call of Duty at the same time. And I loved it. Like, we'd go and rob the bank and then try to shoot it out with other players and then try to escape. I mean... I just... I, I don't care anymore. I wish I did. I want them to make me care and I don't care. Did I put the hats in the party zone? Uh, I think so? I don't know. I went over there. I went over to the party zone. Earlier. That's cool. We'll move on to another one. 44 minutes remaining on the next one. Okay, we need cigarettes, hats. I'm running out of inventory space, even with the upgraded. Yeah, we could do that, T-Bone. We could do that. I appreciate a little bit of scouting like that for me. That was cool. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see him. Maybe he will be live. Okay, so, um, what do we need to do? I need to order a bunch of stuff. In order to order a bunch of stuff. Uh-oh. Text block. Uh-oh. That's a glitch. Ah, uh, yeah. There's not much space in the warehouse. Uh... Mm. Uh, let me remember. Okay, let me go take a look. Blend, Red Hat, and Valleys. We want Blend. Red hats. And like bellies? Oh, that's too much. Damn it. Wait, we have these. Oh, wait, that might be in there on the shelf. I will go with that. Oh, also, let's buy uh, Thank you. fuel.
It's going really well. Boats fueled 15, cars fueled 29. This is going to take a while to 100% this, but th this is the last leg of the race. Like, when all that stuff is done, we've basically completed the gas station for upgrades. Then we can start working on, like, cosmetic and decoration. So we're entering the end game. The end game. Yeah, that's pretty much the end game, yeah. Boink. Okay, let's go put these things in the party zone. Oh, that reminds you of your quake days? Doing the rocket jump? Yeah. Okay, everything's green. Only thing we could do now is ice cream, but I ain't got enough. I ain't got enough employees. We gotta work on the main goals. Get him locked in. We get main goals. Gonna buy some stuff for the part shop. Let's do uh, coolant. Batteries. And we need mirrors. Oh, we got a couple of those. Uh, can you run the ice cream counter for the parties? Uh, the ice cream counter is related to the parties DLC, but it's like a separate thing. Like, people can pull over at the gas station and get ice cream anytime. It's not just the parties. It's like a little booth that'll be, like, right here. And then somebody will stand there, and then people will come and get, like, their strawberry and their vanilla. And, of course, pistachio. Didn't ask. 
Awesome, brother. Shaved ice. Mm hmm. Low water pressure. Oh. Car wash has been washing so many cars. Don't worry about that water pressure. Yeah, we had this thing. Wait, how the hell does this work? Oh, it automatically sucks everything out of there. Oh. Does it really? Oh, yeah, okay. Pressure is fully restored. Well, that was easy. All you gotta do is hit the button. Hell, I didn't know that. I thought, I thought it was just there to, um, to throw it in there. I didn't know it was an auto cleaner. Well, damn. The more you know. Boat refueling time. More trash? Man. You know, honestly, I, I just don't think we could hire enough cleaners for the interior of the gas station. There's such a mess all the time. We're not making as much money now. Well, to be fair, didn't I just buy like five thousand dollars worth of stuff for the shop?
Good. All right. I guess we could get more shelf space too, but I, I don't know. Not until we redesign this place. I think I want to save that for the end game. The fun, the Elden Ring final boss will be to remodel the uh, the gas station interior. Boat refueling times two. All right, first first try. Good. I got out of the water, no problem. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's funny. The Gaming Ham's name in chat refers to that he plays video games and, and knows how to operate a ham radio, which I just thought it was like a, a gaming, and then I just pictured like a, an, an Easter ham. And so whenever he asks in chat if anybody's a ham operator, I just basically think of somebody like just holding a sandwich and like putting wires into it or something like or wor like working on a ham sandwich. It's a funny term, ham operator. Makes fun, it, like it's, it's, makes sense. It's funny. It's cool. It just makes me go tee hee. How things have multiple meanings, you know. Like ham, that's got to refer to pork. It's got to be. All right, boat refueling is taken care of at night by an employee. So how are we doing? Uh, shower visits done. And boats fueled is probably... Nah, cars fueled might take the longest at 42 out of 150. Cars were paid. We got to get up to 75. We're close. But the lowest number right now is cars fueled. Ooh. Chad, I don't know why I just had a craving, but I had a craving for those little Debbie, um... What are those things called? Are they, are they Susie? What, what are the ones where it's just like the chocolate cupcake with like the, the white frosting swirl? Is that a Susie Q or something? I haven't had those in forever. I don't even know what the hell those are called anymore. But just that, that chocolate frosting. Now, those things are hilarious because you could literally, you could like almost take your finger and like pop the, the frosting is like on there as like a cap. You, it, it's, it would be like if you were to take a, like if you were to take a hockey puck and put it on top of a sponge, that's what it's like. You just pull the ho hockey puck right off the thing. Those things are good, but I don't want to buy them. I wouldn't mind if someone gave me one for free. Like I just... I want to go to a Costco and just be like, hey, would you like to try our new Debbie snack cake or whoever may... I think it's Hostess. That, well, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a cupcake. It's filled with... Um, it's like a chocolate cupcake. There's like white frosting in the middle of it. And then it's got chocolate frosting on the top. And then um, a, little, a little swirl. I thought it had a fancy name. No, not like the Ho-Ho's. Aren't Ho-Ho's just like... I think those are like a Swiss thing where it's just like a, a thing of chocolate and then frosting. And then it's rolled up... Just like, just like a roll. Like a sleeping bag. I think they're called...
cupcakes or uh, what the hell Suzy Q's then? We may have to tab out and take a field trip. They're just called chocolate cupcakes. Really? I thought they had a fancy name. I thought everything they made had a fancy name. I'm like, you got your uh, your moon pies and your Twinkies and your um. Hey, what are, what are the name of those? Um, they're like little wafers. Like little waffles. They're like, you get two of them. They're like two little, they're like long Legos or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, they're, they're long chocolate covered wafers and they look like a Lego or a waffle. What are, what are those? Snowballs too? Oh yeah, yeah. Nutty bar? Did they make a nutty bar? Nutter Butters. Oh, that's what those are called? Oh, I guess because they have peanut butter in them too, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Also known as a Nutty Buddy? Okay. Suzy Q is more of a small cake with a cream filling, no frosting. Oh. I just had a thought, like... I feel like I would explain the difference between Mounds and Almond Joy to Bradford, like how I explain the difference between Pronto Pup and a uh, corn dog. Like, you see, Bradford, Almond Joy has an almond in it, as where Mounds robs you of any sort of anything. If they're going to take away the almond, why even have Mounds? It's just trash. It's just a wrapper. You're just buying packaging. Bro, I, I like the almond they put in Mounds. I mean, in, in Almond Joy. Mounds are just like, hey, where is it? It feels like you're missing a glove or a sock when you go to the laundry. We were at one of the hotels. They had a candy jar, and I saw an Almond Joy, and I locked in on that like a surface-to-air missile. I went right in on that one. I don't really like the candies anymore, chat. Like the Starbursts and the skittles and the m and like bradford gave me some m m's when he was here the other like a couple days ago and i was just like all right i'll have some m m's but like i just i don't even go down those aisles anymore there's no need for me i, I just it's just not interesting anymore almond joy is milk chocolate and mounds is dark chocolate oh really there's a difference there too Ooh. sometimes you feel like a nut sometimes you don't oh yeah that's right isn't that part of their commercial hold on that's, hold on, field trip time. Pi everybody pile into the bus. Permission slips, everybody. I need to see permission slips. Hold on. Oh my God. That's right, I remember those commercials. Oh, those monsters, why would they do this? Who the hell decided that they didn't want an almond in their almond joy, and then they just called it Mounds? This is from 1989. My God, there there is a difference. It all makes sense now. If you don't want to have the the chocolatey, uh... my God. Oh my God. I had no idea. I thought they were both the same and they just robbed you of the almond. I still don't care. The, the chocolate of the mound is inferior to changing my mind. Also, uh, the, uh, the British viewers sent over so many freaking candies like Star Bar. Like I wrote down all the ones that blew my mind like Star, um, Star Bar and yeah. I, well, I need to get more chocolate. Some of that stuff is so good. Any sort of nougaty, chocolatey, um, car like caramel is all good with me. That's fine. Bounty bars. Bounty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it bounty in the, in, uh, in your... Yeah, because someone handed me a bounty when I was in Europe, and I was like, oh, this looks like an Almond Joy. And basically was. 
Mm hmm. <laughs> Copyright strike inbound. Interestingly enough, not so much for commercials. They don't care about that. They want you to, they want you to play commercials all day. You know, what would be really interesting though, would be to put up a video on YouTube of like ads from 1999. It's just like an hour-long video of random ads from 1999. But then, what would be really hilarious is to try to splice in a YouTube ad between every ad. And just ima imagine getting mad. You're, it's like, damn it, I'm trying to watch my video on ads from 1999 and I keep getting ads. <laughs> and there's such a big difference between, like, ads used to be kind of entertaining and good. And now just the ads we get on YouTube are just trash. Like, I'll go out, you know, after this, I'm going to go out and make dinner. I'm going to pop on my TV, which has like a thing on it that lets me watch YouTube. And I'll pop on a YouTube video. And then YouTube always tries to sneak in like an hour and 30 minute ad. That's like a podcast. Like some guy paid YouTube money to get views on his thing to slip this in. And they do it on the TV because they hope that people will be too lazy to change the channel or fall asleep. And it's like, you monsters, you absolute criminals. Like, stop it. I, there's there, there's really... Is, is there any good ads anymore? There's really not. I mean, if you were going to inconvenience people, at least give them a reward. And now it's still the... They have the thing where it's just like the... Like, there's two people or the the dumb consumer. Where it's like... Yeah, every time, all these cough medicines and stuff like that. You know, it's like... Um, the, the, the husband's laying in bed. Honey... My throat hurts. And she'll go to... Shh, don't, don't tell anybody. My secret is all new uh, NyQuil. You know. Like, th there always has to be somebody either dumb or helpless in these commercials. Like, someone will go in... Like, it'll just be uninformed, endless cash consumer. Like, that's what they want you to be. Like, don't, don't ask questions. Come in and purchase and consume. It's like... Hi, welcome to the uh, BMW dealership. What would you like to buy? I'd like to buy everything right now in cash. <laughs> that's what they want. <laughs> like, that's what it has to be. Uh, AB2, what's up, dude? Good to see you. There's just no good YouTube ads. They're all just... I, if you're going to intrude, at least be comedic or something. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what Ryan Reynolds was trying to do? Oh my god. This whole time, Ryan Reynolds was just trying to be funny and like informative in his ads? Oh my god. But there were too many of them, Ryan, okay? You cut back on half those ads, and you keep being funny and we'll talk. And then I'll come on as a celebrity guest uh, uh, sponsor or something, or endorser. I'll endorse. <sighs> All right, we got 20,000 bucks. Tomorrow morning when the sun comes up, I'm going to shut down the gas station and we're going to uh, start doing a remodel. We're going to make the uh, gas station look different. Because we got the money. And we're almost done with the cars repaired at almost 60. That's great. So as soon as the car's repaired is done, I'm going to shut down the uh, repair station and probably put them on fueling and whatever other things are needed. Hey, it's been a while since we've seen a party boat. There's got to be a party boat coming, right? There's got to be a party boat on the way. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Someone threw trash literally next to the can. Absolute laziness. The pinnacle. The Zenith.
All right. Uh, what time is it? Six? I don't know if I'm in charge of boat refueling or not. Nope, I see that other guy. Wow, look at this one smoking. Oh, that's just water. Look at that hustle. Good to see. You just became an ad for Hostess? Yeah. Yeah, now I'm kind of over that. I don't know. I just had a quick craving. Like, if I had one in a package near me, I would. I just want one. Yeah, I just want one. I don't think there's much else uh, snack cakes that I want anymore. Not often. Bum ba dum ba dum. Oh. Oh, another bag. Another trash bag. Man, that's a lot of trash. Yeah, I played Supermarket Simulator. It is very fun. Other people are telling me about another game called My Supermarket, but I haven't checked that one out yet. Uh, but if you like Supermarket Simulator or this game, you'll like you'll like the other. They're both very similar, at least in terms of the whole. Oh 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 uh oh! There it is! I knew it! I knew it! Let's check it out. Party bus! Party boat! There it is. Good times. Oh, and the shark too? Wow, okay. A lot going on all of a sudden. They're coming for the gas station. We better make sure it's clean. And stocked. Oh, I'm 
gonna stand by to clean. Ooh, gonna get messy. Gross trash can. All right, boats need fueling. That seems to be the one we're slowest on now. Boats. So that'll probably be the last thing we get done, which is fine. Look at this mess. Okay, looks good. Go check those bathrooms and stuff. I always wonder what these guys are doing with these. Like, are they on their way to go crash a wedding or something like that? They don't seem like they're going to a party for themselves. You know what I mean? Well, that brought profits up to 25,000. Wow. Yeah, let's get the dumpster emptied out. Uh, let me do some refuels first. Keep that going. Oh, scuba rental. Uh, that's this way. Mm 
-hmm. How long are we streaming for? Our usual time each day, about three hours per game. All right, let's order that rubber, rubbish collection. Boats already need refueling. I can't believe it. So that's under services, garbage, order. Good. Garb, gar garbage. Infra? Yeah, we could do a whole playthrough of Infra again. That was crazy. Nice. Man, look at all the things going on. Low water pressure. Boy. Chad is pleased with the profits of the gas station. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I thought we would... Oh, I said we were going to do it in the morning. Oh, uh, oops. I got I got carried away. I was going to shut down the gas station in the morning. All right, the next morning. The next morning. Uh-oh. Actually, now that we have the car repairs done, let's go ahead and shut down... Shut down the... Repair benches. Let's have the employees work on fueling boats in the day, fueling boats in the night. Anybody else set to repair yet? We're going to do clean the station during the day, night, right? Okay. So now we're going to turn off the uh, car repair now. So we don't have to worry about that so much. Only problem about that is that all that bulky stuff that's in our storage won't be going anywhere. Is there an upgrade for the bathroom? Uh, yes, but the next tier. We have to get to the next tier now. Wow, look at that. We're down to like 50 tires. We blew through like... I don't know, I, I ordered multiple tires. Many times. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. There we go. Nice. All right, let's check our capacity. Warehouse is at, oh, we got room for 700 things. Let's order some stuff. Uh, 
out just over a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, the final tier, like stage nine. Like we're basically working on that right now. And uh, I also want to redo the whole gas station. So I'm going to uh, order these things, get them delivered, put them on the shelf, and then shut down the gas station to do a little, little re redesign, a little remodel. Like we're going to move the shelves around and we're going to customize how the gas station looks. I think we're going to start with the looks first and then we'll move things around on the interior. Lord Von Goose, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. All right. Green eyes in the chat. Show them some love. Show them some love. Okay, we're going out there. Oh, you know what's going to be interesting? If we shut down the gas station, I wonder if the uh, volcano is still going to be getting mad while we're shut down to do remodeling. Because we have to close in order to do a remodel. That's kind of unfair if he if he does. Oh, there's a party soon. Did we did we prepare the party? I hope so. Oh yeah, we did. We're good. Yeah, I feel like a bus or something should pull up right here. Then everyone should get off and go over to the party. Finally pulled the trigger on the membership. I was curious if you plan on uh, revisiting Victoria 3. It's so different now. Oh, really? Well, then yes. I would like to. I'd like to play that with Strombi and some other f of my uh, friends to play multiplayer. So I, I don't have any plans, but I would be interested. Glad that it's different. I'm wondering if we're going to hear anything about Anno 1800, or rather, Anno in general, and a new Anno. That would be amazing. Okay, windsurfing rental. Wow. The party was so good it wiped out the volcano. He saw so many people getting jiggy with it, he couldn't he couldn't resist. They're adding a sphere of influence update to Victoria. It's gonna change a lot. Oh really? I liked I played it, liked it and enjoyed it, but I kinda I don't know, it hit at a time where I couldn't really I'll play it much more than I did. It was one, though, that I did enjoy, like, uh, uh, preparing all the uh, trades and doing stuff like that. You subbed to me on YouTube? Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, AB. Well, I would like to do more info in the future, yeah. More of everything all the time. All right, we're shutting down the gas station. We're going to do a remodel. Shutting it all down. We'll deal with this later.
Gas station is closed. So now we can do some modifications to things. There we go. So we can we can build stuff in different styles now. We got wood, brick, Halloween, metal, patterned stone. I don't know what we should do. Outside, both sides. Valentine's Day stone. Well, that kind of looks nice. Pay for every use. Oh, we actually have to pay money for this. Damn. Oh, yeah, $45. Well, that's why we got 26000 Don't really need the money, I think, at this point. Well, actually, we will for the next tier, but we'll make more. There are different types of wood. Anything that looks concrete? There's brick. Ah, maybe the brick will be okay. I kind of want a, a, like a white color would be nice. No. Metal, eh. Well, there's also windows, too. I think we should go... Oh, also, I think we could change where the front door is, but I'm going to leave that where it is. And I think we're going to go with this one. But which one is that now? Uh-oh. Gotta wait till day where I can actually see. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait till day and start remodeling this thing. I think we're gonna go with a nice, like, white brick. I mean, we could go white brick here at the door and then change it to some sort of a paneling or whatnot. I, I just don't know how I feel about the bamboo. I was hoping to go for, like, a I want, basically, you know what I wanted to do? Just turn this into a modern McDonald's. No flavor, no just minimalism. No, no happiness at all. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, a concrete bunker. And then, of course, we can do the roof and stuff. So that's going to be good news for the next time we play. Next time we play Gas Station Simulator, we'll be uh, reaching the end of Challenge 9, which will be f Gas Station fully upgraded from what we can do with the uh, warehouses and gas station, I mean, the uh, car wash and the gas station itself. I think, actually, the building might expand one last final time. So we'll modify it now, and then if it it changes in any way we, we can easily deal with one change so next time we play we're going to fully customize and fully redesign the gas station redo the shelves set it up for the grand opening and then finish this bad boy and we'll call the gas station simulator tidal wave dlc complete i'll see you all tomorrow for more big o streams on the channel and uh, we'll, we're going to try to be playing more goof troop but everybody uh, again is always busy and we're trying to find some other things to play which might come down to hell divers a few times but we want to try to uh, maybe try some new stuff too so anyway i'll see you all tomorrow morning for more big old games on the channel thanks again everybody for watching i'll see you soon